this is obviously a very difficult time in the history of this great, uh, great event, and it's probably not a stretch to say that it's uh, the most difficult time. Um, <clears throat> Having said that, I'm uh, quite confident that at some point we'll emerge from this storm and, uh, and, and move on. One of the things he said that I think is terribly important for people to understand is he, he makes the claim that, that he did everything he could to get this information out there. What he's really saying is he did everything he could to get the Iditarod to say, we know you didn't do this. We couldn't prove either way. So in good conscience, we couldn't make that statement. I, I think that that's, that's a protocol or a process that will change going forward. We're still working through that, but I, 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 I know that this organization is, is committed to, a, uh, to dealing with things uh, much sooner um, than, than we were able to. Dealing with something for the first time is, is, is not, uh, not easy. Um, I don't want to say we were learning on the fly, but to, to some degree, maybe we were. Is it possible? I suppose so. Is it likely? Um, I wouldn't think so. We're discussing different uh, different things that we might be able to do to increase security in the dog lot to rule this out as a possibility, however large or small that possibility is, um, as, well as, uh, as well as various checkpoints. Um, it's hard to want to respond because many of the arguments that, that we hear are so misplaced. However, uh, they're, they're certainly doing what, uh, what they do well, and that's being opportunists when, uh, when an organization like us is undergoing some internal challenges. I feel for Dallas CV. I really do. Um, but um, going down this road of trying to tear the Iditarod apart and it's, uh, you know, cause it harm, um, I don't think that's healthy.